Welcome to Nine Times, where I design and draw original concepts while building a fictional world. Last video we established that this desert biome I'm working through is home to a collection of giant monsters. Last week, I designed this guy. For this second episode, I wanted to design some kind of flying creature. Another idea is for this monster to use things in its environment as tools. And thirdly, I wanted this creature to be inspired by a desert tortoise and a greater roadrunner, which is a type of roadrunner, by the way. So, equipped with these three requirements, an idea that eventually came to mind was for it to be a feathered reptile kind of thing, with a tortoise-like head and an elongated neck. The tails on the side are what allows it to grab onto objects and other things, but more on that later. With the initial brainstorming sketch done, I wanted to draw four variations to see how I could improve on that first design, because I wasn't quite content with it yet. After asking for a few opinions, and consulting myself of course, I decided to go with the fourth option, and to start detailing that out and refining it a bit more. Like I said before, it has to be a flying creature, so after messing with a variety of wing types, I decided dragon or bat-like membrane wings would fit and look the best. In the refining process I altered some of the torso armor into smaller, more rounded sections, and improved the claws a bit. I also ended up altering the feathers on its head so they weren't quite as prominent. When it came to the rough coloring, I pretty much used the color palette of a few images of Greater Roadrunners, and added a few other desert looking colors. Next, I wanted to go into a little more detail on the three tails. This design changed the back tail to be identical to the two on its sides. These basically function like natural Doc Ock tentacles, splitting into three parts at the point. I only realized this as I was writing this script, but mine aren't mechanical and I like the idea, so we're sticking with it. This creature can use these to do a variety of things, some of which include grabbing boulders or trees or even other creatures to use as tools. One common method of catching prey is to grab something like a boulder and drop it from high above. It doesn't mind its food being completely crushed and actually might prefer it. It has a decent amount of dexterity between the three tails, as you can see. Carrying the bone of a dead victim as a weapon is also a tried and true method used by this monster. Now for the size comparison. Let's use last week's monster for reference. Here's our 6 foot tall human, here's the 115 foot desert colossus, and here is this episode's monster. And there we go, another giant monster for the desert dwellers to hide from, and maybe even attempt to fight. We'll see. That makes entry 2 in the desert encyclopedia. Thank you so much for watching, and make sure you subscribe to follow along as I go through my world's desert. Catch you later.